Hey, it's Leighton here for New Heights Adventure Vlog, episode 18. Today we're at Port Macquarie Skate Park, catching up with a friend named Ben Davis, who's a cool fellow, who's trained as a school teacher, now in the outdoor rec industry, doing camps and adventures with kids. Also an extreme unicycler. So, here he is here. Hello oh, Ben. What adventure have we gone on today? Uh, gonna try some unicycle tricks in the skate park. <laughs> awesome, this is gonna be cool. Cool. <laughs> cool, so Ben, that was some pretty cool unicycling just there. Um, so tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, my name's Ben, I grew up in Melbourne, I'm 27, studied to be a teacher, I work in outdoor recreation, I look after kids, um, and I really love the job. Cool. Yeah, so what's your number one passion in life? Um, just making the most of, you know, everything and living. Love anything that requires balance and is hard. I really love unicycling, I love working with kids, I really enjoy rock climbing, abseiling, canyoning, getting out into the outdoors, yeah, with friends and mates and making memories. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so Ben, tell us your connection to youth work or the outdoors. Yeah, I was trained as a teacher, but I haven't done all that much work in the classroom. I think I really prefer to be outdoors, um, in nature, with sunlight, exercise, activity, doing fun things like abseiling and kayaking. In my job I'm very privileged to um, instill value and confidence into kids and help them to conquer their fears and grow lasting friendships with friends on camp. Um, life has a way of you know, making you feel pretty small and the pressure to fit in and excel and achieve and how we compare ourselves. When kids come away on camp, it's a bit more about what's important. Well, you know, it's you and your friends and your hopes, your plans, your dreams and your fears and 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 I have an opportunity to instill confidence into them and empower them and prepare them for life after after school. So yeah. Cool. So Ben, um, do you reckon you can drop off that box down the next step, go along, grind that rail down the stairs? Come along, do some crazy trick here, and then jump up the quarter pipe. Very uh, nice possible. I reckon that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> All right, let's see it. pretty cool seeing you do all these tricks but what I want to hear is your most epic adventure you've been on so tell us that story uh, well I have a, a mate Mitch he's a good friend of mine and he had this personal challenge to try and do five canyons in under 10 hours the five canyons presented different challenges on, on their own some were slippery some were technical some involved sliding down big trees and some involved some big jumps 
um, I hadn't done one of the canyons and not only was I doing a technical canyon for the first time but it was um, it was also new to me and it was also very slippery. As soon as the day started we started running. We had a heap of food in the car so we really enjoyed at the end of the canyon to just eat between canyons on the road. Um, we were flying along so quick that parts of the car fell off as we were driving along dirt tracks and um, I really feel like this tested me because I was going with a friend that I really trusted but he was much higher physical ability than me but we'd done a lot of canyons together and we managed to get all that 5 in 10 done in our 9 hours we had a spare hour free so we went and chucked another one in as well and that was quite epic quite an epic adventure so 6 Six canyons in ten hours. Six canyons in ten. And so, how how long would that normally take the average person to do one canyon? Oh well, the biggest canyon of those six um, on the guide notes say that it takes eight hours to complete, and it it took us somewhere around three hours, I think. I can't remember. It was 2015, 2016, but we um, there's surely other people that have set greater records and greater achievements but that was pretty epic for me. <laughs> cool that's awesome. So Ben tell us what you learned from that epic link up adventure. Um, well I guess um, with Mitch he he was really strict on being efficient and we try to set records and he really wanted to do it in under 10 hours and I didn't want to hinder that. So everything that we did there's really no time to contemplate it was just do it was just execute like doing a grind on the unicycle you got to see yourself doing it successfully and then just do it. Because fear can really get in the way. And if you sit there and really think about all the things that can go wrong, you probably never do it. So execute, run and do it. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. So what other tricks can you show us on this unicycle of yours? Um, well, I guess I'll try jump up a few rocks. All right. Let's see it. I was through walking through Central America with my friend Mitch and I, I came up with an idea to try and save $3,000 um, for Lifeline and um, by doing so I was going to ride my unicycle from Newcastle to Port Macquarie and you know I was really excited about this but I really didn't know how big a challenge it was. I ended up saving um, $3,000 or raising $3,000 um, I met a lot of people along the way. It took me about 23 hours and it was about 255 kilometers more or less. But definitely the last nine hours, the whole time it was raining, but the last nine hours I genuinely just didn't want to do it. It took a lot of, you know, strength and remembering quotes from here and there. Um, when I got there, I gave my grandpa a big hug and um, it was from my sister who committed suicide and I really feel like that to me challenged me but um, you know I learned a lot definitely. So Ben tell us about your most difficult moment or worst decision working with kids. Um, my hardest experience working with kids uh, was in a different job than the one I'm in. I was required to group lead a group of 15 young uh, United boys and it felt very hostile, the environment. It really felt like me versus them the whole time. And I was trying my best to look out for them, after them and, you know, bond with them, but it was, it was yeah, very hostile, jeering environment. Um, so after that experience, I went and talked to a friend of mine, Clayton, at church and he's a dad and he gave me some really good advice and um, I used that advice on my next camp um, and I felt like that was a much more successful experience like we met the outcomes, the kids were safe and I had a really good rapport with the students and the, and the teacher Cool, do you remember the advice that, that dad gave you? Uh, yeah, so he said um, you can't let them beat you at something just lead from the front, lead by example and never let them get in front of you at any at, at, at a given sport. So I was at the front all the time with kayaking, and I was giving them pump-up talks. 
and um, whenever they were sitting down bored, I'd say, okay guys, let's go do some sprint interval training. And it was, yeah, I had a lot more respect from them. So tell us about your most rewarding moment working with kids. Um, it's a hard one to answer, there's so many. Um, you know, an example being seeing a kid conquer their fears as they go over the, um, the abyssal wall and they realise, huh, I can actually do this and they feel more confident. Um, you know, problem solving and behavioural management with two kids that are arguing and, and working through that with them and, and seeing them mature and, and, and um, resolve it on their own. Um, yeah, just seeing progress and confidence grow in, in the people I work with. Yeah. Would you like a go? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll have a go. So you want to put your right foot on the pedal and put it all the way down, and then put all your weight on that one as you hold on to something and you put your other foot on, and then see how far you can go. I used to have unicycles at my last job and teach the kids, but I wasn't that good at it. Nice, man. Oh, I need your hand here. That's, yeah, no, it's a skill of its own, just yeah, trying. I need a shoulder to clean up here. See, man, not run over some of kids. Thanks. So you need kind of a steep hill, but I can probably do it. Do it here. here. All right. Parting advice here for anyone that's wanting to get into the outdoors or working with kids? Um, well I guess uh, it takes a really unselfish mindset. Um, you're constantly trying to remind yourself to focus on the kids. I think the question is that, you know, provoke the right response out of the kids so that they can feel as though they came to the conclusion. Um, I guess what I'm trying to explain is have a facilitator mindset and um, yeah, really just try and give it your best to instill the skills and confidence into the people you're working with. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. And not very often you see someone on a unicycle doing those tricks, so thanks for hanging out. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next episode. See you later.